it's funny. <laughs> Rachel Ray, everybody. I'm deathly afraid of spiders. Are you really? That was from last Halloween. God only knows what's going to come out of the pantry this year. And I agree about the girl in the brown dress. By the way. Didn't you thought I love the dress? It was the dress that caught my eye, and then I went, wait, who's in that? I mean, and, uh, and yeah. Who? There you go. That's I agree. What... I may be, I, you know, I may be, I may be a little gay for her. Actually, she be. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> wow. She's kind of distracting. She's kind of distracting. I'm kind of like. I know. Anyway, listen, how are you? Are you all right? I'm great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy. Are you really happy? I am. You happy? I have enjoying jobs, but I, I love them all. Do you get enough time to go home and just cook a meal? I cook dinner every single night. Do you really? I do. I go and home do you wear that little uh, air hostess outfit? Uh, maybe just one night. Ma yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe it went home with me. That one night. But that no, is, normally I just wear my pajamas. You cook in your pajamas? I cook in my PJs. That's dangerous for men, you know. <laughs> when fat spatters, yeah. you need some kind of underpant arrangement. <laughs> it's like when you barbecue in your swimming trunks, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I'll have to ask John if he's ever had right, difficulty right. doing that. No. no I, you know, I go home, I put my PJs on, make dinner, and yeah. curl up with the puppy and the honey. Tell me about this, uh, the... Uh, book. It's an orange book. Is it the food entirely uh, orange in this book? Is everything... <laughs> orange is my favorite color. It's kind of a friendly color. And, uh, you know, it's my 14th book. So I thought, well, I'll just call it the big orange one and we'll make it orange. Because it had no one theme. This book is an answer to what everyone's requested that wasn't in all the other books. It says What's a, that? A kosher section, meals for one, vegetarian meals, holiday meals, meals that are more than 30 minutes. So it's... So gay, Jewish, time-pressed, <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> It's the big gay Jewish time pressed vegetarian book, everyone. It is for everyone, in, including the girl in the brown dress. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. I like it. Hey, remember when I was on your show? I, I do. I had a great time. And you were fabulous. Please come back. Uh, all right, I will, but I'm kind of here right now. Well, uh, you're coming to the city soon, I know. I am going to New York People next week. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we do three shows a day. Stop by, we'll feed you. What, what, when, when do you do them? I'll be there on November the 7th. We'll be there all day from 7 to 7. You come whenever you like. Really? Really? Will you make, well, will you make those burgers? His burgers, he was on our show, and we, we made a, a meat and potatoes burger that I wrote for him. And you forever changed the recipe. I'm developing restaurants, and your burger is proudly featured. Because of the mashed potatoes? With credit, thing? yes. Because yeah, I put, I, see, when I'm making meat mashed potatoes, potatoes, I put, a, I put a, an egg. That's my egg yep. in the mashed potatoes. Change My the people know about the... potatoes, Rachel. The, the, uh, there you go. We're I, all about anything about potatoes in here. Have you got potatoes there, there in here? There are many potatoes in there. Yeah, yeah. How's your voice, by the way? I can hear it scratching a bit. Are you okay? My voice has been like that. I've been a cartoon character since I was a little kid. There's a little a bit of a bump on there, and they're going to cut it open and scoop it out like a melon. Isn't that appetizing? Yeah. Um, it, sometime in December. So I'll have to shut up for two weeks. Can you two imagine? weeks of not talking? Can you imagine? I, I can't even imagine. I, I... Although my mother says the only way I could truly be mute is for someone to tie my hands behind my back. Because they're always, you yeah, know, sort yeah. of like Andy Rooney flailing around. <laughs> Do you like Andy Rooney? I, I mean, I enjoy his performances, but they're kind of dadaist, to I be really, honest. I, <laughs> I, yes, yeah, sometimes I do what my dog does when I talk to her. Sometimes I do look at Andy and I'm like, what did he just say? Yeah. You know, I'll do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, what's going on, Andy? I don't understand. Yeah. Why did you say that? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I know. I waited on him once, though, when I was a kid. You were you yeah, I was dead? in the Southlands Falls Howard Johnson's. I waited on him. He had tea in a. Uh, English you were muffin. a waitress in the Howard Johnson's? I was a fountain girl at Hojo's. And I was, oh, do you have that uniform as I well? I had the, the little polyester uniform. Yes. And I was so sure I used to have to jump into the bin where all the ice creams were, the 54 flavors. This is like a dream I had. And, it, and there was a, a melted ice cream line across my chest at all times on the polyester uniform. It's not as attractive now. <laughs> it wasn't good, really. This truly is the greatest day of my life. 
No, that's like, so they're going to go in and get, are you nervous about this kind of like yeah. uh, surgical? Will you have the, you know, the. I'd be nervous <laughs> if they asked me to do it to myself or something, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's qualified professionals. And, right. You know. You're going, do, you, do you have, because you work for Oprah, don't you? you she'll give you health insurance, we, Oprah. <laughs> I do, I do have a nice health health right. insurance plan. Do you still hang about with Oprah? Do you still kind of I haven't around? seen Oprah in a while, but we write each other notes from time to time. And That's what I do with her, too. Well, I write fabulous. her notes. I write her notes, and she... She doesn't write that. I write her notes. You're so great, Oprah. You're she so... is so great. You know, she is, she is. She's a lot of fun, you know? I mean, oh, stop it. She she's, is. She makes a great pomegranate be martini. She's an absolutely fun lady to be around. And what's cool about Oprah is when you're with her, she, she really brings out the best... In, in you. She brings out the best in anybody. I, I, I should probably get around her then. Mm-hmm. She got, you should have her. She may get annoyed though if I, you know, if the best comes out. <laughs> I... Let's talk about the big orange book. Come on. All right, sausage with gar... Do you know all these recipes? I'm going to test you, right? Sausage with garlic lentils, which sounds fantastic, Well, by that's the way. just braised sausages with garlic and lentils. You well, that's not what it says here. One. That's not <laughs> yes, what it, it says is. here. There's <laughs> onions, there's cloves, there's evu. <laughs> it's evoo, extra virgin olive oil. Do you know I actually made it into the dictionary with that? Really? They put us in the American Heritage Dictionary. It says, and it's got it your name? It says E-V-O-O and... Extra and virgin olive oil. Yes. What's that? Here's the thing about olive oil. I've never really understood this, and it's to do with virginity. What about... I don't know where to check an olive for that, if that's... that's <laughs> Strangely enough, I do. That's no, I, what, does, what does virgin olive oil mean? Does it mean it's only one it's type of... filtered, you know, whether it's been filtered or not. And so actually, if it's not been filtered, then it's virgin. Yeah. And if it's had, if it has been filtered, then it's not a virgin. But you know what? Grocery store grade olive oil, even, <laughs> even if it says EVO, I mean, it's it, you can bring it to a high enough cooking temperature to, to cook with it, and it, it doesn't clog your arteries. It's good. But so what's in it then? That's the, why do you need a virgin olive oil <laughs> as opposed to well, a slutty olive oil? I it doesn't clog your arteries. Not that that's the only two options. About. I mean, there's a happy medium in there. I'm you know, sure that there's... Committed relationship olive oil. I mean, what? What, what does it mean? Do you get gay olive oil? Do you have <laughs> Or is it just the idea of olive oil No, gay? but, you know, the virgins give you a nice shiny coat. You know, yes, they give you good hair and good skin and good but blood what, work and, you but know. What it, so it's unfiltered, that means, what, what, why would they filter? To, break, to make it lighter and lighter and lighter so you can make it hotter and hotter and hotter. Oh, right. I still don't yeah. understand. If you really wanted really. to have, like, a nice massage oil, you would want a very filtered, you know, lightweight oil. Oh, right. <laughs> so it's very lightweight oil if you're going to... What, which massage oil do you use? <laughs> just trying to relate it to something for you. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think, I mean, normally, I mean, I'm a bit of a horn dog anyway, but, but, the, but I think tonight I'm just kind of, whoa, it's all going. It's all going on. And partially, it's the girl in the dress, but also it's uh, you in that little uh, KLM outfit. Oh, the, the stewardess thing. My yeah. husband did enjoy the, the stewardess thing. Yeah. Hall- it, our Halloween show um, is, is coming up this what, week. What are you so. going to be this year, then, for Halloween? You know, we've, we've, we've got a handful of them. I don't know yet. It's going to be a surprise to don't me. Don't be a ghost, will you? Because that's just a cop-out. No, I hate it when I'm not going to be. No. Yeah. No, you've um, got to do something that the, you know, the, the husband I, will enjoy. I See, I like that when the ladies do a sexy Halloween costume as opposed to a, you know, a scary, gruesome thing. I mean, if, yeah, if I want scary, gruesome, I'll spend time with my family. But... Uh, <laughs> You know no, what? I agree. It should yeah. be a little... Yeah, so you've no idea... Although right? that got... uniform was very, you know, was long. I mean, it wasn't... It was just the idea of the whole thing. Of a flight attendant? Yeah. Yeah. That, that I, he enjoyed. I think that's an old idea, though. If you've flown in the past few years, you yeah. may... Uh, <laughs> it is. You it's may just, kind of go, whoa! It was, okay! It was a vintage... It yeah. was a vintage get-up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's very, very nice. Yeah. But yeah. he enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah, good. I'm glad to hear that things are... <laughs> Things are good in paradise. We, we're out of time, but I, I'm very happy uh, to plug your book one more time. Thank you the very Big much. Orange Book, the very lovely Rachel Ray. We'll be right back, everybody. Please welcome the very lovely Rachel Ray, everybody. I want to know 
something. You come to my show, I cook for you all morning. I put a spread out. We cook for people because we figure you're probably very tired. You're all very busy professionals in the creative arts. So we want to be prepared with food. Mm. You come here yeah. in the dressing room. I, I kid you not, he left lady speed stick for me and toothbrush <laughs> and toothpaste and soap. And I'm like, what are we saying? Well, I no. did not bathe. <laughs> I did not take time to get the stink off before no, I came here. No. I leave. I, that was my lady speed stick. Uh, <laughs> the lady speed stick advertise on CBS. <laughs> no, they do they now. They do now. Yeah, yeah. When I get home. Yeah. Well, look, you got some. You got some water. There's some water over it's there. Fabulous. Thank yeah, you. We got some. Hold on. We got the some Purell of that. Purell again. Hand, no, no. Hand sanitizer. <laughs> Do you want some hand sanitizer? Yes, please. All right then. Oh, I, I just, I go. love it. Do you really? Mm. Do you lose, use a lot of hand sanitizer? Do you hand sanitize after you have guests? <laughs> no, no. Like, like if if Andy Dick or something on, I'm like. Do you ever do that? I do that. No, but people always hand sanitize after me because my hands always smell like onions, garlic, you know, because well, that's, that's a I cook all day. smell. Can I smell your hands? Well, now they smell like your hand sanitizer. They don't, actually. It's, yeah, it's a no, little onion, biscuit. garlic. Biscuit. <laughs> biscuit. Biscuit. Oh, my God, what's that? <laughs> What I did today, oh. actually, I had my fingers sniffed. No, <laughs> I, I'm European. We we do that all the time. I, yeah, that's very. No, what have you been cooking recently? Have you, what have you been doing this summer? Did you have you I, been out on a cooking I, tour, making soup? I actually, uh, I did not go on cook tour. Um, I spent part of the summer lobbying in Washington. I was like Mr. Smith goes to Washington, but for what? In girl form. I was uh, working on the Child Nutrition Reauthorization Act. Oh, well, and good for you. Getting yeah. more money for. Our, our food. And then uh, I started, because I didn't have enough work, um, I started a new franchise over at Food Network for their sister channel, Cooking uh, Channel. Um, it's called Rachel Ray's Week in a Day, which I brilliantly thought up because it rhymed with my name, Rachel Ray's Week in a Day. And then I sat down to what write this. Rachel Ray, she's sometimes gay. Well, there you go. Because uh, I'd uh, watch that show, I tell you. <laughs> Have a short list of women that I am a little gay for. Really? Uh, Who are they? Absolutely. Oh, Tina, Tina Faye's the top. Oh, that is so awesome. But she knows that I've told her. I, I like Tina Faye. She, every time I, I love met her, her she's, she's very friendly, nice, and brilliant. I thought because she's so smart and clever and talented, she'd be one of them Hollywood types. But actually, no. No, she's very no, cool. No, no. Although I did, after I met her and I went away, I, I noticed she was purelling. <laughs> well, as we all do. Who else are you gay for then in the girl world? Well, she's the top of the list. Okay, Everybody else okay. is pale, you know, pale. But who would you, like, not gay for, but maybe just a pillow fight in slow motion? <laughs> well, there's, that's a lot. That's nah, a big group. Nah, See, you're, you're distracting me. Nah, I, I, all right, I, all right. I, I, so the week and the, the week day and thing. The week and the day, yeah, right, so, all right. But so. I teach you how to make a whole week's meals in one day. I can't it's, have a whole week's meals in a day. I have right. an addictive personality. If I have a whole week's meals in the house, I will eat them right away. <laughs> That's I true. never thought that through, but you're right. That's true. People like me, we can't do it. I'm like a dog. If there's food yeah. in the house, I eat it till it's done. <laughs> I, well, I would eat myself to death. <laughs> Going. Yeah, going. yeah, yeah, no, really. All right, so don't watch that show. You can you can tune into the daytime show. I do often. That, really? Do you remember that time I was on your show and you were showing a clip of me and I was wearing a shirt and I then do. and in the clip I was you said oh you were here a few months ago. Have you got that clip? Watch this. Watch it's this hysterical. clip. It's <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> That's right. You're looking at a confident man. I was wearing the same shirt. <laughs> I was wearing the years ago. I had the same shirt on. I must have I feel awful. And do you know what's weird? What? This is the weirdest thing. When I came to work today, I was wearing that shirt. No! <laughs> yes. What is going on with that shirt? I think I've got a secret kind of infatuation sex blue shirt thing with you. Uh, I, well, I, I think it is. I think I think you're gay for the blue shirt. No, you know what it is? I I like to wear dark, loose clothing when I'm feeling a little chubby. <laughs> oh, 
So I, you have felt chubby for, what, two and a half years now? Yeah, I've felt chubby since I was in fourth grade. Really? Yeah. Such a little bit. I was, a, I was a husky kid. I See, I didn't have the good nutrition that you're uh, promoting. I lived in Scotland. We had potatoes and gravel. That's it. You are. I, that's, every it time you come on, you make. It my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a couple of potatoes. Yeah, so he, he could like, use a couple of potatoes. He could potatoes, use a yeah. couple of potatoes. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a digestive, digestive <laughs> tract, so it just, you know. It just goes right yeah, through. Yeah, it just goes all through. You give him a potato and it's just a little bunch of potatoes in there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so um, so what? Yeah, the, yeah, the good nutrition, I didn't have it. Do, what, do, what, do, what, kids, what kids should they eat, you know, Rachel? <laughs> Somewhere in there, there was a very thoughtful sentence. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm a believer in, in, you know, whole foods. I think kids can eat mac and cheese. There's nothing wrong with it. I just think you should make your own instead of like little powdered orange stuff and maybe switch out a little whole wheat or whole grain pasta, giving them protein and fiber. I think you can sneak in a lot of good nutrition quite easily to anybody. And how style. long have you been in Al-Qaeda? <laughs> <laughs> because... Are you talking about making your own mac and cheese? Yes. I, I yes. didn't come to this country to start noodling around with that, but I want to go to the store, get a bag, pour box. in the hot water, hey, presto, delicious All orange food. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Check, so we will not be making that when you come to the show. No, no. I, I didn't know how the affinity that you have for cooked testicles, though. We could do some no. balls next time. <laughs> Have you ever, not? have you ever cooked and eaten testicles? Uh, I have not, but I'm sure I could. I feel confident that I would be good with the boss. I marinate them and brine them. In fact, that- Can you say that again? You would want- Marinate them or brine them so they're nice- Can you can say that again? Salty. <laughs> say, say salty. Yes. <laughs> say, say it again and say it a little slower. <laughs> wow. I think, I, I, I mean, I guess it's just all protein. It's a delicious meat, meat I guess. You know yeah. what? I, there's so many other things. Well, there's still pasta. I mean, what? Yeah, yeah. Really? You know, if it's a choice between pasta and nards, I'm going for <laughs> pasta. eaten many, many, many things, including bugs, but, you know. What kind of bugs did you eat? <laughs> you know, it was a big trend when I worked in uh, gourmet markets and food markets. There what was age a were you trend four? about 20 years ago. It was a trend about 20 years ago where there was chocolate-covered grasshoppers and, like, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not kidding. Really? It was, it was like a thing. I thought... I right? Was... See? See the head nodders? That. They'll say anything for free, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? They, 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 yes. I, was it nice, like a chocolate-covered grasshopper? It just tastes like uh, crunchy, just kind of crunchy. Well, what's wrong it with peanuts? It doesn't really taste like anything, really. Really? Yeah. I mean, you put dark chocolate on anything, I, I, I guess I'd try it. Do you know, me too, I love dark chocolate. <laughs> love dark chocolate. Yeah, no, I, do you know what I ate uh, once was snake. I've had snake, yeah, absolutely, yeah, sure. Yeah. Snake, shark, all that, yeah. Shark? Mm -hmm. Shark was pretty good. Shark's all right, tastes a bit like uh, chicken. <laughs> Yeah, a tougher piece of chicken. A tougher fishy piece of chicken. A tougher fishy piece of chicken. Yeah, again, while there's pasta. Do you know who is surprisingly good eaters? You know, we were out here filming um, our, our, our big first show of the daytime talk show's new season. Right. I spent the afternoon with the gorgeous Kardashian family. Oh, yeah. Very good eaters. Oh, you surprised me. They're all me. so trim and gorgeous. Really? And they loved their pasta. I made them a little lunch. They look to me like they enjoy a bit of pasta. What? They do. They do not like I could have easily have said they look to me like they enjoy balls. <laughs> and I didn't. Do you believe I'm being judged? Do you know what I was struck with when I was at your, uh, was at your show, just when I look at the audience yes. here? Your show, the audience is almost entirely made up of very attractive women. I, I noticed that was there. It's very unnerving. It's like going into a harem. They really yeah. are I know. good looking. It's crazy. It's very upsetting. You go in there and I think, oh, God, I, I'm, I think I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to end up on TMZ or something just being here. <laughs> they are really good looking. Like, it's striking. Like, we all come out. We say, Jesus. Another well, bunch of good-looking people. I have to go change again. I'm yeah. underdressed. I uh, yeah. I don't have that problem here, as you can see. But the, uh, <laughs> I think it's nice. I, you have a no, nice, no, a no, nice I have a broad section. section. I have some very attractive uh, people ver around, <laughs> and then some other ones to kind of frame them. Oh, do you remember? It 
was the time before last, I think I was here, there was a girl in the audience I was gay for. The girl in the brown dress, remember, with the nice, like, dragon embroidery, oh, remember her? Yeah, I do. You yeah. kept chit-chatting her yeah, up, I and I was chatting like, with her, I, yeah. I agree with I you. I got in a trouble yes. over that. Oh, yeah. probably not good to bring that up then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're out of time, Rich. All right. Yeah, we'll just so edit that little snippet out. And there you go. Tighten her up. Edit? <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't happen You're here not in daytime but... now, sister girl. <laughs> we got Rich and Ray, everybody. It's called Look and Cook. <laughs> in stores now. Please welcome the adorable Rachel Ray, everybody. Uh, Hi, Rach. It's been too long. It's been way too long. <laughs> Man, can I tell you, I, I love that dress. Thank I you so love much. that dress. Thank you so much. It's very, very nice. Here, hang on. What in the, uh, <laughs> the, this looks very nice. A cookbook. That's lovely. How Shocking for me, right? Yeah, it is. It's actually, I think, my 17th cookbook. But this one is, is very different in lots of ways. It's called Look and Cook. It's literally the paint by numbers of cooking. So you use paint? Uh, <laughs> you can. You can, Rabbit, if, if you'd like. But uh, no, it is 100 meals in pictures. You see every single step. I see the look. There's right. pictures of food. It's he like going to a swanky restaurant. <laughs> you have the black and white one. That's so funny. Is that was like the galley before the book actually came out. The books that are in the bookstores, guys, are actually in color. I was going to say because... We paid for the color. Yeah, because this, this picture of his hamburger looks very dry. <laughs> it's like... It's like... It is. This is like... It's like sort of a, a hamburger from before the war. <laughs> First half of the Wizard of Oz yeah. hamburger, right? <laughs> it's like, Look out, Fritz! Here we come with hamburgers. <laughs> we actually include the color with the price of the book because we're that nice. cool. Do you take the pictures of the food? I actually, uh, my friend Wes. Uh, 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 I know the guy that does, yes, but I didn't take these pictures. But it's so funny that you ask that because I'm already working on the next book, and they are pictures that my husband and I are actually taking of my year in meals, everything ooh, we actually ooh, make. Woo, woo, your husband and you take pictures. <laughs> well, I have to keep the food interesting somehow. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, Little sauce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. No, do, do, you, do you cook the stuff that, that they take the pictures off? Then? I do, did, right, actually, Right, yes. so you cook it and then the photographer... For this, for this particular book, I wanted people to be able to see my hands, literally the food being made every step of the way, and I wanted it to be my food, not a, uh, you know, a, a food, uh, food stylist uh, person or anything. They have food stylists? They do, yes. People that get paid just to make food, uh, mostly fake food, look good. Like, you really? know... Yeah, like ice cream is actually lard and, you know... <laughs> Oh, move. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? The idea, so the, the, the fake things in show business? Can you imagine? <laughs> all the Thanksgiving turkeys that you saw during all those holiday ads every yeah, year, yeah, yeah. they're all raw and they're painted with like shellac and caramel Stop color. Stop I swear. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's awful. Nothing sells a cookbook more than gagging on air. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's nice, though. Hey, uh, remember the last time we were here, we were talking because it, it was around right about the time of the Serbian uh, the testicle, testicle cook cooking. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There are no, this is a ball free book. Really? Um, <laughs> there are no actual testicle recipes in there, but perhaps in the next book. Yeah, I. And you know what else is cool about this? What? It's 100 meals in pictures, right? So you can't screw it up. It's like literally like a paint by number painting. But then there's a 30 minute meal section that has streaming video online, and you can watch commercial free 30 minute meals live time. And you see me front to no, no, no stopping, no breaking no to clothes? prove. Nah. Actually, they made me wear the clothes. All right. Yeah. I did think that if we went with just an apron, it would, it might have done there better. There is a website yeah. that already does that. <laughs> You see some testicles cooked on that website, I'll tell you. <laughs>
things going for you otherwise? Everything working out all right? How's Oprah? Do you see much of her these days? Uh, you know, I might see more of her now that she's sort of switching over to the cable That's thing. right, yeah. You she, never know. Yeah, that's right. She, uh, we send each other cars around holidays, and I send her, you know what I send her every year for her birthday is, you know, I would do snack of the day on the show. I send Oprah a year's worth of, of healthy snacks of the day from the she show. She wouldn't like that. She loves it. The no, whole staff would, gets no, to share. No, and she wouldn't Why? like that. <laughs> She has, uh, you know, she has a personality like me. She, she you know, if food's around, she'll go oh, after no, it. Oh, no, she shares with the whole office. It's fun. They... All right. No, I'm just saying. You don't want to oh, piss her I off, Rachel. I will not you don't be want... sending that this don't, year. You don't want to piss her off. Don't piss her off. Now, especially no. now she's a free agent. Right? She's out there. Yeah, she's gone rogue. I'm actually really excited to see what she does next. Yeah, I'd be interested to see yep. what Oprah does. It's, uh, I, 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 does she really live in a hollowed out volcano? <laughs> I always imagine Oprah living in a place where, like, everything's huge and she gets moved around on a big thing with big, muscly oil guys. Like, carried around. Oprah will arrive! And people, are, like, throw oh petals God. and stuff. And uh, she comes in and, you know, that's, there's monkeys that's... in front of her and everything. Is there a sacrifice going on? Yeah, yeah oh of like, course. Well, she's very, I just, she oozes power to me. And I, you I, know, she is so fun. I mean, she's very, like, girlfriendy. You know, the, one of the first pieces we ever taped with her was at a pr her producer's house, and I was teaching, you know, uh, how to throw a simple party for a lot of people and for not a lot of money. And she made pomegranate uh, martinis for everybody. She was life of the party. She was great. Now, is it difficult to make a pomegranate martini? I don't know, because, you know, the buck stops at the kitchen. My husband husband is the all mixologist, right. does the dishes, all that kind of stuff. Let all me, I'm on is food. Let me, let me phrase this another way. Yeah. Uh, did, did Oprah uh, have a lot of these pomegranate martinis? <laughs> no, but I she did. She's like, I'm Oprah Winfrey. Tootsie Fruitsie. Tootsie Fruitsie. I'm having a pomegranate martini. She could do it and everyone would go, oh, Oprah. What do you want to do? It's Oprah. <laughs> You would laugh. You I, would love I, I think it would be funny. And yeah. also, if you're the censor, right, and yeah. Oprah cussed on your show, like, if Oprah cussed, they'd be like, well, we got a letter. <laughs> it's Oprah. It's Oprah, yeah. No, yeah. that'd be interesting. Anyway, so she's... Uh, <laughs> So she's around. you make the show in New York, then, don't you? We make the show in New York. You've been there. I have. Yes. Yeah, no, I like, I like that little place you go. Who's that guy that organizes everything for you? The guy that I always meet when he's a very nice young Shant. man. Shant? Shant. Shant. Very nice yeah, man. Or yeah, or Tommy or Shane. They're all friendly. Yeah, they were, they're reasonably friendly. Do you know why they're so friendly? Because they are well-fed. If you keep people, like, you know, in Now, food. this is what I don't understand, though, because yeah. the, the people that work for you are very well-fed, but none of them are uh, overweight. They're all... They're well, all that's because we work very, very, very long days. No, I think it's because yeah. they're in New York. Yeah, that's true. You walk everywhere in New York. And also... Yeah. <laughs> and there you go, gagging twice in one segment. Nah, that, you don't see like a lot that. of that. You know what, I, I, you know what I, think, I think it's because you prepare delicious, satisfying, nutritious, good food. Thank you. Yeah. As opposed to... No, it's true. It's true. I do. I now, do. now I owe him two dollars. No, no, yeah. you're all right. Oh, you know what? I've been handing out money to good guests, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. You want a buck? Now, you know the only thing that sort of hurts my feelings is that I've been here a few times. It's the first dollar. It's a I new ever... thing. It's a new thing. Oh, all right. It's a new thing. Okay. I'm, it's, 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 then, I'm yes, on my way I to becoming Oprah. A yeah, you see? <laughs> this, is, this is how I'll gain power. <laughs> that now, that make me savvy. a pomegranate martini, bitch. Thank you, bitch. Rachel's going to cook with us. We'll be right back Yay! with Rachel Ray. Friend, my lovely friend. I'm here with my lovely friend Rachel Ray. She's not wearing a bra. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Probably However, a little more information than you wanted. No, but... no. I think everyone's quite happy to know. Great. Uh, now we're going to have a cooking demonstration, but before that, we're just going to warm up by jumping up and down. Come on, Rach. <laughs> Get those calf muscles running. All right. 
<laughs> okay, I'm ready. Look at this. Look, look how I'm cooking now. Like. <laughs> All right, what are we going to cook? Uh, I'd like to chop stuff. You like meat and potatoes. I so do, this, Luke. This is a recipe from Look and Cook. This is from that section I told you about. We can watch it online, oh, streaming okay. video. Right. When I did this in studio, we made this meal in 17 minutes flat. Shut up. Shut up, for real. <laughs> so what do you do for the other 13 minutes of the half hour streaming video? Well, that... Jump up and down. <laughs> that's for you to know. That's for you to know and other people to maybe find out. Yeah, I don't right know. All right. So this is a really simple flat iron steaks right. in a cast iron skillet. Slice up, thinly slice up some potatoes. I While like the potatoes that. are browning and the steaks are cooking, you're going to make the, the green sauce, the salsa verde for the steaks. Salsa verde. Salsa verde. Hey, okay. You say that beautifully. I thank you. I'm European. <laughs> so you are going to coarsely chop the garlic. Coarsely chop the garlic. Now, yep. does that mean chop the garlic uh, like this is garlic, right? That's actually that's a shallot, onion. but that's right. fine. Yeah. Like, co so, cho coarsely chop the garlic. Yeah. Uh, uh, naughty garlic. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Is that good? Is it about, about like that? Now, put him in here. Fabulous. Are we still talking about the garlic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that. Uh, Can't you tell that garlic is a fella? Do you uh, apply gender to things that you're chopping up on a board? <laughs> I do. I do, in fact. Really? I is, that a, is that chopped enough? Because it seems very big to me. But it's very, No, it's fine, because the food processor will do most of the work for you. All right, then. So I just why wanted did I you chop to be it? able to have fun. I want you to have something fun. You like chopping. So. I do like chopping. All so right. So, of course, they chop the shallot. You're just helping the food and processor I, out. And I'm going to put this in there as well. So, there you go. That's, uh, there you go. Hot uh, pepper. Yeah, and there it goes. Anchovies. Anchovies. No way. I hate anchovies. <laughs> I do. I don't like anchovies. They're too salty, Rachel. And I, people that like anchovies aren't, uh, they're not American. You're right. I'm, I'm half Sicilian and I love anchovies. Do but you that's really? Okay. I'll get them if you really want them. No. It's an optional ingredient, so that's fine. Right. Strip the rosemary. Now, careful. <laughs> It's a dance. Now, Jeff likes the dance. Yeah, he does like the dance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, right, so no, no, do no. Don't chop. Strip. Pull the little... You so, can you show me? Slower, <laughs> slower. Oh, like that. Yeah, all right. Yum. All right, take it. Don't be that rough with it. It's not a chew toy. All right. <laughs> there you go. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. some naked rosemary. Yeah, that's right. Get it on. Girl. A naked yeah. rosemary. There you go. Get Lovely. in there with that big French garlic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what okay. about the leaves of the... Yeah. Yes, sage. Sage? Sage. Right, there you sage go. Sage advice. There you go. Right, Fabulous. okay. Okay, and then in there... And, and then what is, what's wrong with that sage leaf there? You don't <sighs> like him? Fine. Right, okay. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yes. Right. Fabulous. You just keep an eye on the steak. That's I'm keeping right. an eye on the steak. All right. And then this parsley? Parsley. Very good. Look at you. Want some parsley in there? Some parsley in there. <laughs> it's going to go on there, but don't put it in, the, in here. All right. All right. There All you right. go. Keep going. The whole thing. Uh, well, well, then why did you have me do that? Like some... Uh, right, you now. did that Ooh, all I like this. Yourself. What's this? Is this a lamb? <laughs> <laughs> That's olive oil. Put that in there. All right, then. Some of that makes things go, move it around. Oh, it makes, it does, it does, <laughs> doesn't it? I know. There you go, is that enough? That's fabulous. All right, okay. Salt and pepper. Uh, all of this? No. All right. Just a bit. All right, there you go. And you'll need a little salt since you threw the anchovies away. All right. Ha! <laughs> 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 fabulous. Uh, now, Put this thing on that thing. Yeah, right, okay. And uh, can we go now? Is this the You have to make it click. All right, there you okay, go. Right. Now, it, it's conveniently located away from you. All right, so make do you it want it to pulse or throb? <laughs> I, want it, I, want it to, I want it to throb. throb make that okay. sucker throb. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look, look at that. that. Look at you go. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's finished. That's fabulous. All right. Look at you. What happened there? Oh, you dropped your tongs. Well, whatever. Ten years on television, I can't manage to keep the tongs on the counter. Yeah, that's fabulous. Right. No, no, that no, worked no. out well. well. No, it's okay. I'll get no, them. That, that's I'll done. get them. No, we're not. <laughs> you don't want to cook with something that's been on the floor. <laughs> All right. All right. 
All right, when do I put my sauce in? Uh, you're going to put it on the steak. Let me grab your plate. All right. So, so we're going to take a steak. Yeah. You Ooh, put some see. of your sauce. I made a little backup sauce, but look how pretty yours looks. I like my sauce, well, you yeah. You can put your sauce you, right Let's use there. my sauce. <laughs> see, a little salsa verde. Yeah, there you go. You did a nice job with that. Look Thank at that. Thank you. you. You really did. It does, and it doesn't have anchovies in it like your sauce. That's true. You would oh, hate my me. sauce. Can I have because it, it has, Wait, don't you want some potatoes? I do, yeah. Let me see. I'll just There's a little crispy potatoes, oh. and you fold in some greens, like a little arugula or watercress. And you pop that alongside, and it's a nice, nutritious meat and potatoes dinner. Oh. Look at that. Oh. That's not bad. They're oh. good. They're oh. crispy. They're nice and crispy. They're like little potato chips. Mm. Oh. Heck, you did a good job. Oh, hang on. Oh. <laughs> oh. And you know, I brought you as a backup, too. I don't need a backup. All right, fine. But you just keep going. I'm going to eat this. Well, I brought you some of the comfort food. It's an it's an inside out shepherd's pie. Oh, well, it's you have meat. my attention. It's meat that goes inside the potato. You stuff the meat and potatoes in the meat. together in the same in dish. In the same dish. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, old yes. timer. <laughs> I brought you one of meat and potatoes because I know how much you love the meat and the potatoes. Yeah, I do. I love meat and potatoes. Hang on. Oh, did my hat go in something there? Um, that's all right. All right. That just makes you a proper chef, right? All right, okay. Hang on, you I'm just going to be over here. Good that. Not every man can carry a toke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's delicious. It's good, right? You've mm. made a good you sauce. You want a little bit of this? I do want one bite of your sauce. I'll give you a little bit of my meat here. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. Good. If this TV thing doesn't work out, mm. you have a career there. It's fabulous. I That's your first salsa verde. It's fantastic. really good, isn't it? You oh, no, but, and and, and you, you look talk. great in that, really. Really? It's fabulous. Wouldn't you take him seriously in, in a kitchen? He's got it. You've managed to train them into doing that daytime clapping thing. Isn't it great? Yeah. It's They're fantastic. like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't you guys agree with me? <laughs> yes, we do, Rachel. <laughs> and you all get a free car. <laughs> oh. No, but there may be mm. a book or two in it. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Carry on. I'm just having some of this. Uh, this is the shepherd's pie inside. The inside the out shepherd's pie. It's the meat inside the potato and you melt the cheese and down over the cheese on top? I know. See, I, I love you, you Rach. Like I, I, but you know, what's cool about the book is that it really has a person's back. If you don't like to cook, if you've never cooked, it's 100 meals and pictures or 30 minute meals that you can watch streaming video, no commercials on TV. It's actually really, uh, you know, on your computers. It's a really, really, it's a great gift for somebody who's like really intimidated by the cooking. Good for you. <laughs> We have to take a break uh, because we're not streaming. So, uh, <laughs> we, we love are, advertisers, yeah, yeah, though. No, we are, oh, in look daytime at these. television and nighttime television, we just love advertising. Can these two people share an apartment without <laughs> driving each other crazy? <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, everybody, <clears throat> we're out of time. But not potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> but not potatoes is the name of my next autobiography. <laughs> so uh, we gotta say good night. Say good night, Rach. Good night, Rach. Good night, everybody. Look, uh, my first guest tonight is a fantastic uh, talk show host. She's a fantastic cook. She's uh, author of a new book. Stay there. Uh, it's, it's terrific. It's called The Book of the Burger. It's in stores now. And, but I've just heard that she's a little late. She's not here yet.
I told them before you come back, and they're like, yeah, we'll support you. And now it's like, you're on your own. You're on your own. Well, I figured we would just keep going, and when she gets here, she gets here. Right, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, she's Rachel. She's a lovely woman. I mean, it could happen to anybody. It's fine, so she'll be here when she's here. We'll go up, and we'll, you know, I'll, do, I'll get some recipes out of this, and we'll have a little, come on, come with me. I... Right. There you go. Now, Rachel will be here in a minute. I'll make us a snack until she gets here. I'll make us a snack. What we got? Let's see. I usually keep some things down here for a cooking demonstration. Here we are. We've got some CBS noodles. <laughs> yeah, because nobody's going to guess what that is. All right, so we got some CBS noodles. I got the kettle here. Nice and boiled. What you want to do for it, you want to get the water nice and hot. When you get your, your, uh, get your noodles there, careful that your, uh, your little bits don't fall out. And also, be careful of that in the noodles. Now, imagine, uh, imagine this was, for example, uh, a crumpet and you were pouring cream on it. Is it? What I'm saying is be careful. Be careful is what I'm saying. You pour the hot water on the noodles. I heard you got held up in a bit of traffic, so I was just, like, making us a snack before you got here. I think that's delicious. You were cooking for me? Yeah, I made you some it's CBS... So special. Some CBS common noodles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you ever eat crap? Uh, I mean... <laughs> do you ever eat stuff like this? If you paid me. No, yeah. no. <clears throat> on a bed, I... I mean, because I mean, you're... Hold on a second. It's you know, I was late making your, your You burger. made a burger? This is your burger. You remember when you were on the show and I made you yeah, your burger? Yeah, it was delicious. Meat and potatoes burger. I'd marry and, you. I'd marry you right now. Well, that... <laughs> we... Can we have multiples? Yeah. Is that allowed? Yeah, if, if you're on TV, it's all right. It's like a... <laughs> It's like a double-decker. Yeah. It's sort of like a Big Mac. Well... A marriage Oh, oh I see. Mac. We're back. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> No, this was that Ooh, burger uh, where you added... Can the, I have a little bit? You can if you want it, sure. And what about the burger? Can I have a little it's bit of that? <laughs> see what I... You see what I did? I do. You know, I'm always happy to see you is what I'm saying. I'm thrilled to see you. It's been too All right. Long. Yeah. Can I have a little... Sure, go ahead. All right. Well, you have to talk We can chat about amongst ourselves. Yeah. So, this is the book of burger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it has not just beef burgers, but burgers made out of everything. Just about. There's no haggis burgers. I, I, what? I, I don't care for that. You've got, it, you've got it all. All over you. <laughs> it was in such a rush, I couldn't bring a napkin. So we'll just use me. <laughs> oh, I would. <laughs> I'd get my taters on you anytime. <laughs> All right, tell me all about it. I'm sorry for creeping you. I'm just, I'm very happy to see you. And I'm, this is just a little, how do you do that? I mean, how can you walk into a place and be uh, like, you're held up in traffic, you walk in and you've got a burger like that? I cooked at the other place while I was there. Uh -huh. I was two timing where I was. <laughs> so what you're saying is it is okay then. <laughs> All right, good. So the book of the burger. Let's talk about your book then a little bit. You got the uh, oh, there you are. Look at that. That's nice. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Look, a girl in a pretty dress with a bunch of things to eat. <laughs> yeah, if it gets better to that, then I don't know what's better than that. There's nothing better than that. You know who doesn't like that? The only people who doesn't like that? Al Qaeda. That's it. <laughs> and even Al Qaeda, like, oh, I don't know. Richard's pretty cute. <laughs> I said that they chose that picture yeah. because it was all about the buns. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice picture. That's a nice dress. That's good. You look good in this. That's a short, it's, it's very short. It's more of a shirt than a dress. I, I couldn't... I, not one complaint from me or anyone in the studio audience. <laughs> Even Lesbian Rose is like, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, how you been? What you been up to? I've been fantastic. Yeah? I... You want some burger? Are you hungry? No, I'm good. You want to... I could give you another snack. I had some other things I here. Have I have the got ramen some... noodles. I got some... The well, noodles I got some... must be ready by now. I got some uh, squirty fabulous. cheese. That's fabulous. <laughs> I, uh, I'm good. I uh, shot another round of Guy vs. Rachel, you know, the celebrity cook-off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. August. Thanks for inviting me on that, by the well, way. That was... Uh... 
I thought you were busy. I think I think when we taped it, you were in Scotland or something. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd go there. I wanted to go with you over there. How oh, was yeah, it? Oh, yeah, we asked you to go. I know, you but I was go. working one of the other five jobs. Well, when we go on another trip, do you want to come with us somewhere? Deal. All right, Deal. good, because I think we've got another one coming up. Right. That's all. Oh, you're so generous. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, once it starts, it's very difficult to stop it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I can say this. I am a cheese in a can virgin. So, <laughs> so. Mm. much like many of our first experiences, <laughs> a little you bit get to sticky like it, the more you and do not it. that yeah, memorable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I have to use the burger to get the taste of the squirty cheese out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, so what's going on with your show then? What's, what's happening? We had, <clears throat> oh, I've got the cheese. <laughs> hey, you want a drink out here? I got some water. Yes, here. thank you. Hello, baby. Um, we have, uh, we did our thousandth episode last season. Congratulations. Well we done. moved. <laughs> we moved. You moved? Where'd you move to? We moved to these big, beautiful new studios. So this season will be in HD. So I'm oh. going to be getting a lot of facials. <laughs> Um, it's great, we redecorated. And this is my birthday month. <laughs> the audience is kind of ahead of me tonight. Right? Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, it's your birthday month? It's my birthday month. My husband's birthday, my brother's birthday, my birthday's oh, a party. Oh, that's lovely. Month. You having a party? We have a little party in August, but our big party is for our anniversary in September. We Congratulations, take... how long? Uh, oh. <laughs> I eight. think eight. Oh, eight. Well, we That's... were together a lot of years before we were married. Right. And every year we go back to the scene of the crime, sort of. We go back to where we were married in Italy. We bring all of our friends, and we have like a four-day party. Wow. Which is why we can't really remember how many years it's been. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Where in Italy is it? I mean, you don't... Be, in don't Montalcino. Be this... I don't know where Montalcino is. It's beautiful. It's in Tuscany. Oh, And it's yes. where... It's the home of Brunello, my favorite wine. All right. And my first word was vino, and my husband's first word was more. So more... <laughs> more wine, we thought, get married in the home of our favorite wine. That's really. fantastic. I think my first word was, in fact, whiskey. <laughs> Well, my grandfather would babysit me when I was little, and I didn't like the taste of the formula and the milk, so I'd throw the bottle across the room, and he got sick of chasing after the bottle. So he took his homemade wine, oh, and he put it in the bottle, yeah. and he filled it up with water, and he'd hold up the bottle, and he'd go, vino, vino, uh -huh. vino, vino. So when I said baby's first word was vino, I was holding up my hand, asking for my baba. They all thought I was a happy baby. I was really just bombed. <laughs> But now, anyway. you see, that's why we're having the intervention right now. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with the beautiful Rachel Ray, everybody. Are you up for this? We're going to test your business yeah, skills. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. All right. <clears throat> we have 50 seconds on the clock. 50 cent, can you sell this? Go! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you thought you was coming to the Rachel Ray Show just to watch the show today and learn how to cook, but what you have here is new technology, you understand me? This right here is the world's smallest portable thumb. Oh. <laughs> hey, Rachel. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Hey, Rachel, I was just reading your magazine. Hey, how was it? Did you like it? I feel I learned so much about food. <laughs> <laughs> That's our big, beautiful Italian issue, guys. And it shows off our favorite pics in Italy, Italy, and uh, uh, Italy all over America. There are favorite Little Italy spots all over the country. Do you ever go to Little Italy in New York? Yeah, occasionally, but my favorite New York restaurant, I think, for Italian food, well, I love Mario's Place is, of course, Mario Batali. And I also love Locanda Verde. That's great. But Motorino, Motorino Pizza. Amazing. You know, that's a guy here who used to work in transportation. I think he... Uh... <laughs> I think, I think you guys have probably have met at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
We'll go for pizza together. Yeah. We'll go for pizza. We'll talk it through. It'll be all right. We'll break the thing. bread. Be a little thing. It'll be fine. A little bit. Good. <laughs> So listen, uh, you're going to Italy for your uh, anniversary. For the big anniversary. That's nice. Lucky and then you're moving eight. to a new studio. It's fantastic. Moving to a new studio. How's Oprah? Have you seen Oprah recently? I She calls saw me all Oprah the time. I, this summer. I we keep go to meaning this to call her back and I'm like, I uh, will give her your love. Yeah, well, yes. please. She'll be like, who the hell is that? She'll say. <laughs> I did see her over the summer. She's fine. Yeah, that's all right. We go to this uh, sort of a business. Uh, Women in business? Well, yeah, it's sort of a business think tank kind of a thing. I see You guys have pillow, pillow fights and stuff? <laughs> no, but that's a plan for next time. I tell you, that's what you, you, role playing. You see, that's how uh, women in business, you know, when you have the conference, you do the role playing. Sometimes, you know, a business can be adversarial and you work things out using role playing. I'm talking about pillow fights. And then. <laughs> And then when you and Oprah have a little pillow fight, you send me a tape of it, I put it on the show. I, mean, uh, I, bet, I bet people I'm would watch. I'm telling you, that'd be a ratings winner right there. That'd be a ratings winner. That's how I say things. Well, I will uh, put it on the to-do list for next year. Yeah, yeah, you should. All right, then. Well, we're done here. So, uh, <laughs> Where is your next trip? Where are you going to be I taking? don't know. I think we might go down to uh, New Orleans for the Super Bowl, maybe. 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 That's, uh, uh, that's what I'm well, talking about. That's going to happen, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah. I'd like to go. I'd like to go down there. I, I really like it down there. It's beautiful. What a sexy city. Oh yeah, New Orleans too. I want to go there. <laughs> too. Uh, I'm very creepy with you, Rach. I don't know what it is. I mean, I don't know why it, you you bring out extra creepiness in me, and I got a lot of creepy going on anyway. It's I mean, the way that anybody's creepy is I through think, their stomach. I, think I brought the, the burger. I think that's the, the burger food. has brought out. The well, it's used well. It's got, it's the voice. It's the food. Yeah. You know, it's the it's the whole sensual nature of food. I think that's what it is. And the fact that I can slather mashed potatoes on people is mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the door and Rachel you've got Ray, the everybody. We'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Uh, called the Tijuana Jam. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. One, two, three, and the side, and the side, and the one, two, three, and the side, and the side. One, two, three, and the side, and the side. You got it? Yeah, one, two, three. Can I stop now? Yeah. Uh, my first guest is on season nine of our daytime show, uh, which is called Rachel Ray. That's a clue. <laughs> It's great to see you. Are you on the way to the store or something? <laughs> What's going on? What is this? What is that? I know. I always dress up. I didn't have time. I'm always feeling guilty when I come here. I need some of the therapy. No, no. I don't understand. Where, where are you on? The, where are you going? I oh, am clearly. on my way to the airport. <laughs> well, let me give you a quick pat down. See how you're going to do it. Well, what's this? Well, I never, I don't have a kitchen here. I never, I never have snacks. And last time you were so generous, you gave me the cheese whiz. Uh, yes. So, well, it's the start of football season, so I, I brought you a, a fabulous snack. These are free. You took three chips from our I got them back. green room. <laughs> but they were prepared with love, and I, I placed them very carefully prepared and Prepared with love yes. in a factory somewhere many miles from here. I brought, I, I brought some bribes, because I, I want to I wanna be on Celebrity Name Game. I wanna, oh, yes, I would love I want to be on well, the new show. You mean the one show. that premieres uh, September, September 22nd? September 22nd. Take your local listings for <laughs> I know how much you love sharks, so I brought you an, an actual shark tank, you see. It's very, very, very sexy. Shark tank? A shark tank. It has a, sh it's a tank. Oh, yeah. It's a shark. It's very yeah. Very sexy. Thank you. And then... If you're looking for me in Las Vegas this fall, <laughs> I'll be that guy. Okay. I have saved the best for last. Wow. Shark slippers. Nice. Oh. All right, let's do it. Now that, yes. Don't put them on the table. No. No, you can't put, yeah, 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 you can't put new shoes on the table. Now, you know, these are size, size large, I had to guess. So. Well, yes, uh, you they're... guessed. I'm a size 12. Is that, that going <laughs> to work? 
Well, that's quite a promise, but yes. Whoa. <laughs> get along. Oh. Come on, baby, get it. Come on, get the. <laughs> wow, you really have the world's largest feet. Congratulations. <laughs> Hey, hey, no, it's on. It's in. It's in. I'm in. It's okay. In. In. All right. I mean, they're very comfortable, actually. Once <laughs> you cram your foot, yeah. You really, he does have enormous feet, just like. Yeah. I mean, you know what they say. Check these babies out. Yeah. Hey, baby, what's going on? It's Shark Week. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is now. How you doing? You good? I am really, really well. We're going to season nine, which is season fabulous. Nine season nine. That's, that's amazing. Well done. <laughs> what, was that, what was that game you were playing there? You were playing a game. That doesn't look like anything like Yeah, that's or anything. a game my staff used to make me play. What am I touching? And, and I got very clever around season eight. And I said, what if we make our guests play the game? What am I, <laughs> yeah. I would like to play what am I touching with you. Well, it, all right. Well, we could do... <laughs> We could do a little quid pro quo. You could come I'm to play. I'm talking tonight yeah. after the show. <laughs> I'm taking a much later flight now. Yeah. <laughs> it was, what, what was it he was touching? Uh, that was a, a porcupine. That was pretty. That was that was pretty okay. We, we've we've had all sorts of pores, uh, poisonous frogs and. Well, you guys dangerous and... touching a poisonous frog. I Don't know, touch but a poisonous. It's not fun. No, no. <laughs> it's fun until someone gets hurt. I have children. <laughs> Well, don't let them touch the poisonous. I don't, no. I but never if you come, we might. You know, we'll just inoculate. Well, now I'm not. I don't, yeah. Uh, we don't want to tell you about the segment we're going to do in the show, but do you mind getting a couple of shots from this doctor first? And here's a little hand sanitizer. Yeah. Just to make sure it goes Do you through. use hand sanitizer? Uh, when? Because you got a lot of, of guests on the show. we got a lot of food. We no, have but I mean, talk, I'm talking about celebrities. They're filthy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I keep it here. Can I have a squirt? There you go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they come out and they're like, oh, you, wait till you see my movie, it's so great. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that actually smells quite nice. It's nice. I, Don't I, put it on your neck, though, darling. No, it's It'll good. dry out your skin. No, it's good. It smells no, fresh. No, 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 no. It does smell fresh, but just enjoy the smell from your fingers. Don't have it on your neck. <laughs> It'll dry out your skin. You don't want to do that. No, you must you don't. moisturize. Clearly, That's you look right. great. I do moisturize. I'm 46, and I, I believe very what? much. What? Yes. That can't be possible. <laughs> That's impossible. It's the olive oil. You know, we roll around in it. I ingest a lot well, of it. Oh, yes. Oil. Yeah, well, you're, you're sort of Italian. Sort yes, of. I am. I'm, I'm half Sicilian and half. Uh, my, my dad's a bit of a mutt, but he's from Louisiana. Well. <laughs> <laughs> No disrespect to the great state of Louisiana, <laughs> but he ain't the first. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, so your dad's from, where were you born? Uh, Glens Falls, New York. I mean, I, I was thinking you was a New Yorker. I yeah. am. I'm an upstate New Yorker. I come from the mountains. Right. Do you ever pan for gold? <laughs> <laughs> Not those sorts of mountains. We're more moonshiners kind of oh, mountains. Yes, apple picker moonshiners. Do you enjoy illegal alcohol? My husband is quite good at with the illegal alcohol. <laughs> but he, he, doesn't make, he, doesn't, he doesn't make it in the house or anything. Uh, uh, no, he makes it in the shed about No, he doesn't, no! <laughs> you can't have a still in the... Where, you no. had a quite nice copper one. <laughs> it was really? I, no, it's dangerous to make your own. And illegal, well, I no, think. No, he hasn't blown anything up yet. And, you know. well, it doesn't have to happen that often, it Rachel. It is quiet. We have, to <laughs> we have to have something to do, so... But it's well, very pretty. It's a beautiful copper uh, still. Right. You think I'm kidding? Yes. No, I believe you. I just wonder if you haven't just caused your <laughs> husband a whole world of pain. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what the hell? It's not my problem. So good. Uh, <laughs> so what's going on? You're flying tonight? Must be I'm, a red yeah, eye. Then. I'm flying tonight. Uh, just a, a few miles, though. Not, not, not long. We're doing a, a sort of a, a little mini tour going into season nine. Season nine's terrific because we're... Our main goal for this season, because I make my living through food, we want to yeah. make uh, food the way we give back, and our goal for this season is to feed 9 million Americans. Holy crap, yeah. oh, that's great. That's a great one. So what are you going to do, you give food away? We're going to give food away, we're, uh, share our strength um, in feeding America, our, our partners. We're going to try and raise enough money and or food goods to literally feed 900, or 9 million of our of our of our hungry friends and neighbors. That's, uh, that's a big goal. Yeah, it's it is goal. a big goal, but it's a good one. It's a good I, I one. like it. Yeah, I think you're a good person. You meet so many people in show business. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>
And yet, uh, well, actually, you don't meet that many, to be fair. But you no, meet actually, some. it's a very small, yeah. Right, but there are percentage. some. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. There's, there have been a couple over the nine years yeah. that I was, I was a little surprised by. Let yeah, me isn't that funny? It's surprising. You know, when, you, when sometimes you get, and we won't say any names, but sometimes you get people on the show and you're, you're like, you're a fan and stuff. And, and, then, like, you, <gasps> and then you start talking and you're like, oh, no. And you're like, oh. This is why, that, this is why yeah. I've never had David, uh, David Bowie here. Because well, I'm a huge David Bowie fan. And, and you don't want to have scared. any... Right, you don't want to scare Scared, yeah. <laughs> I've never met him. I've never heard anything bad about him. I actually met him at a food bank dinner. And he... He is, eats? He is. He does. <laughs> he eats. He's gloriously handsome. His, his beautiful wife is an amazing cook. And yeah. they were delightful. Oh, they, well, that's a relief. I'm still not having him. I can't <laughs> take that risk. And I, it's, not, know, it's not like he's going, Oh, Craig, please, <laughs> can I come to your show? Hey. <laughs> He's fine. He, he doesn't want to come here, probably. <laughs> oh, God, I wish I had his number. I'd call him immediately. <laughs> you know, I wish I had his number, too. Yeah. <laughs> we have you to know, take a break. We have to take a break. We'll be right back okay. with Rachel Ray. We'll be right back. Everybody, I'm here with Rachel Ray. Uh, we're out of time. <laughs> That's fine. My goal was to is secure a position on the celebrity name game. Yeah, yeah, That's no, good. I'll take care. I, I know hand. a guy there. I'd probably be able to get you on. Yeah. And when is it? When is it debuting that we can it's check? September 22nd. Check seconds. the local it's listings for details. But yeah, it's. Uh, you check your list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're in. Uh, you're in syndication. Your show, aren't you? Yeah. That's where the money is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe a little. I, I've, so you're wealthy then. Are you going to go to space with all them other uh, folks? Nope. I like to stay on the planet where I can securely spend it. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Good for you and, and well done spending your money on doing good works and I, I, I getting an illegal still in your backyard. That's exactly yeah. right. I try. No, actually, we, we really, um, you know, I, I feel very grateful to have a, the job that I have. And I, I'm, I'm very careful when we build our business to always build businesses that I know you do. You me. are. You very are, really are. You are what you say you are. And that is a, a lovely thing. It's lovely to see you again, Rach. You're a gorgeous woman. And come and be on the other show, please. Will you come and be on our show, too? Uh, it's our ninth season. Anytime. Anytime. I, you, know, you can promote season? Celebrity Name Game. Yes, all right. It's premier September 22nd. Check it out. Rachel Ray, everybody. We'll be right back. Uh, so we got a little bit of time left. We thought we'd have a little snack before bedtime. I've made everyone some squirty cheese. Uh, some for Tien. There you are. Some for you, Lisa. Squirty cheese. There's uh, some for Secretariat. There you go. Uh, uh, some squirty cheese. Uh, um, Jeff, you want a cracker? Yes, please. All right, there you go. All right, come on, man. It, it, uh, there you go. How's that? You like that? Oh, I like it. Yeah. But, well, you had a little bite. That's good. So, uh, remember this, though, everyone. Um, if you eat cheese before you go to sleep... Sorry for spitting. Um... <laughs> If you eat cheese before you go to sleep, sometimes you have bad dreams. <laughs> CBS Kids. Good night, everybody.